Soon after the publication of Deep Shadow Maps, many facilities started to address the complexity of rendering deep shadows. Deep image com compositing deals with compositing scenes involving a large number of elements, such as trees or jungles, and atmospheric elements, such as fire, smoke, or fog. Previously, a single value was stored at each pixel in the image. Deep compositing allowed multiple values per pixel, each with its own distance from the camera. This provided new capabilities, including being able to remove or alter the color or position of objects within a single element, or to compute post-render depth of field. For their influential research and publication of fundamental concepts of deep shadowing technology, the Academy presents a Technical Achievement Award to Thomas Lokovic and Eric Veach. Gentlemen. Back when the internet was young, if you can imagine, uh, when he was my professor at CMU, the late Andy Witkin uh, made a connection for me. He introduced me to Tony Apodaca at Pixar, and Tony took a chance to hire me as a new grad to work on RenderMan. And so to those two guys, they basically got me started, and I owe them a great deal. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, the whole RenderMan, the amazing RenderMan team uh, at Pixar, and the artists at Pixar and other studios, and uh, the people who in, in Pixar and elsewhere have uh, developed, as we'll see tonight, uh, deep shadows in a number of other interesting directions. Uh, special thanks to Adam Woodbury, Tom Duff, Rob Cook, Matt Farr, uh, John McCarthy uh, for their help along the way. And uh, I'd like a round of applause for my kids, Emma, Lucy, and Jack, and my amazing wife, Melissa. Thank you. I've been away now from graphics for quite a while. But I remember the best thing about working on films was just being around people who were so energetic and creative and fun. And tonight has really brought those memories back. So thank you all for that. <laughs>